Europe has a strong and inclusive healthcare system, providing European citizens with a high quality of well-being. The health sector is a huge asset in Europe. The cooperation between the different stakeholders in, the, in shaping uh, digital health is fundamental that we agree with the different partners on how we're going to manage this data and the governance which we will need. Digital technology and data allow further improved care through prevention and personalisation. We have a growing and ageing population and society cannot afford the burden of healthcare. In comes technology where digitization uh, will move us from general care to precision medicine. Care that is specific to you, where we understand your DNA, we understand your disease. Precision diagnosis will guide towards the right treatment and precision medicine will treat you uh, as an individual rather than as just one out of many patients. Preventive healthcare is about monitoring, measuring and data analytics. The sensors and data they play a big role because it's, it's really how to personalize care, for example, but data alone won't improve anybody's health. The great innovations will be within the area of how we put systems in practice which actually help to prevent diseases in large scale. Emerging digital health and wellbeing tools have raised privacy concerns on the use of collected health data. We have to be able to work with health data to respect privacy of health data but at the same time to allow for the reuse of the health data in the, uh, for research or for treatment. And this has to be done in a way which is coordinated, even harmonised. We should allow the use of data for good and for good I mean that helping but of course there should be a very clear understanding that the data and especially health data is not being used against you. Crucial is the creation of seamless data access. This is a key challenge in a fragmented Europe with diverse and heterogeneous healthcare systems. Healthcare data in Europe is very fragmented. Hospitals are small, they have not consolidated yet, and the databases are therefore very fragmented. Moreover, the uh, legislation around privacy and data uh, storage do not make it easy for researchers to access large data lakes. And in order to go towards this vision of precision healthcare and to train our algorithms, we need access to a lot of data. So I really would advocate for a pan-European federated database around healthcare so that, let's say, Europe can lead in healthcare technology. The digital transformation of healthcare in Europe is geared towards the interpretation of data for personalised prevention and cure. Sustaining an inclusive European healthcare system requires makers and shapers to collaborate on regulation products and services that will guarantee transparent and trusted use of citizens' health data.